welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today we're actually in my craft room. We are going to be adding some crystals to this beautiful skating dress. A couple of weeks ago I did a live stream with you here on this YouTube platform and I had a few different people asking for information about where they can get a good quality dress or skating outfit for shows and competitions. So I have put together a, a list on Amazon of dresses that some of my students have competed in. So I can vouch for their quality and you can find a link to those dresses I recommend down in the description of this video below. So you can head over to Amazon and shop through some of my favorite Amazon dresses. This is one of them. So I have had quite a few skaters skate in this dress, various different colors over the years. And I like it because it's, it's simple, but it's really classy dress to me. It's a solid lace, but this dress is less than $20 on Amazon. And it's really nice, really soft, beautiful dress. It has this lace illusion neckline with a little sweetheart up here, which I think is really stylish. It has the long sleeves with a little loop for the finger. I like that, but if you look at the back, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It has this beautiful point at the skirt line with the illusion and then that keyhole. I just, I love this dress. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take this $20 Amazon dress and customize it and zhuzh it up using crystal stones, all right? So this might be a little scary for some of you if you haven't done crystallizing on a dress before, but I encourage you to learn how to do it. If you pay someone to put crystals on a dress, they often charge about $50 per gross, and a gross is 144 stones, so it can really add up. 144 might sound like a lot, but it, it will go so fast. So learn how to do some stoning yourself so you can take a basic dress and really elevate it just with your own creativity. So let's get this project started. I have the dress laid out with a piece of cardboard covered in packing tape between the layers. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the wrists because I'm gonna be applying stone here. I use this so that the glue doesn't seep through the layers and glue the dress together. And I cover it in packing tape because it makes it really easy to peel that glue off once it is all set. I have a few supplies. I have a craft syringe to fill with glue and apply the glue to the dress. The glue I'm using is called E6000 and I like the clear version. I'm using a wax tip pickup tool called a crystal katana and that will allow me to apply the stones. I have jet black crystals in a size 20 SS. I also have crystal colored crystals in a size 20 SS. I have one and a half gross of the crystals in 34 and one gross of crystals in a size 40 SS. So we're gonna start by applying the crystals to the neckline. I am using the jet black ones here to apply a subtle shimmer. So I'm just applying my glue and then I put a nice tight line of these jet black crystals across the top sweetheart neckline of the dress. And then we're gonna apply a scatter pattern of these jet black crystals all over the front and back of this lace bodice area. I'm not following a specific pattern, I'm just trying to scatter them at a somewhat even pace. Then we're gonna flip that dress over and apply the same thing to the back, so I'm gonna do a line along that nice pointed illusion seam, and then I'm gonna follow along and scatter them all over the back, just like I did on the front. And I think it looks really pretty. I can always add more later if I'd like. Now we're gonna turn our attention to the wrists. I'm using all three sizes of those crystals for the wrists. So the 20s, the 34s, and these big 40s. I'm not using a specific pattern here. I'm just scattering them about with all of the different sizes incorporated. So I start with the big ones and then fill in with the smallest size. I'm probably gonna add more later, but I kind of want to see how the dress looks overall before I come back to the sleeves and add more. Of course, we want to make both sides somewhat even, so I have the first one sitting next to the second one as I apply the stone, so that can make sure that they're spaced somewhat similarly, both on the front and the back of that sleeve. Now we're gonna attack the neckline. This is the part I'm most excited about. 
We're going to be starting with the big 40s and I'm going to do a line all the way across at the seam line where the fabric is the sturdiest. These are a little bit heavier than the other stones so I want to apply them where they're going to be held up the best. If they were at the top of the collar they might weigh the collar down and I don't want to risk that so we're applying them at the bottom with a lot of glue because these are some really big stones. Now we're going to continue on with the 20s. I'm just going to do a double row. You can see I have the 40s, a double row of 20s, 34s, and then a single row of 20s again. Having that variety in size really allows a lot of different size of light to reflect. So now we're going to work on this illusion neckline. I'm going to go in with my 34s, giving a little bit of space in between them. I don't love the way it looks when they're separated like this, so I'm going to fill in with the 20s. This gives it a much more elegant look. It's less chunky. So I've got the 34s with two 20s in between each of those. And then I'm going to go and add one more 20 outside of each 34 just to sort of make the edge a little bit more uneven. And I love the way this keyhole looks. I think it flows down from that collar really nicely. Now we're going to go back into the dried back and we're going to apply some 20s in between each of the jet black stones. So we have a jet black and then a crystal, all 20s along the top of that line. I'm just going to apply a few more of those jet blacks in this scattered pattern to give it a little bit more glimmer. Now we're going to look at the seam line of the skirt. So we're going to be applying some stones here. I'm going to start with my big 40s and I'm going to alternate the 40s and the 30s and fill in with some little 20s. So I'm going to set up a pattern here at the corner, at the tip, that I'm going to follow for the whole rest of the skirt. So that's what I'm going to work with at first. I may alter it. This is what I ended up with and oh my goodness, I love it. So the whole back is done. We have the seam line. We have some shimmer as it moves with those jet blacks. We have that illusion outlined. The keyhole looks beautiful. I'm very happy with the back. I'm going to let it sit and cure for a bit, then flip it over and start on the front again. All right, so we're back at it at the front. I have a new syringe of glue and we're going to go in with those little 20 SS of the crystal colored and we're going to go in between those blacks just like we did on the front. So we're alternating the 20 SS jet black and the 20 SS crystal colored stones, connecting them to the back on the sides. This gives a less defined line because it's alternating with the blacks. I didn't want this as strong of a line as I'm doing here on the skirt. And again, just copying that pattern from the back. And here is the finished dress. It's so pretty. I love it. Look at that beautiful shimmer through the body when it moves. Those jet blacks give a really subtle shimmer. The sleeve is so beautiful. I did end up going back and adding more crystals afterwards so that it was more balanced with the rest of the dress. I love the way the skirt line looks and I ended up adding some extra little 20s above the 40s. But it's so beautiful and can we just look at that collar she is going to look like she's wearing a diamond choker out there on the ice i can't wait to see this in action all right skaters this dress project is completed and oh my goodness it turned out so beautifully look at that back with that v so nice i love the keyhole neckline as she moves, these black stones are just gonna glitter like diamonds, it's so nice. The arms, stunning. I love the neck, I love the collar. I'm really, really happy with how this dress turned out. Remember, this is a dress that costs less than $20 on Amazon. But let me go over the numbers. I wrote them down, the numbers with you for the stones on this dress so that you can visualize what it would take for you to do it yourself or to pay someone else to do it, okay? so. Say you bought this dress for $20 on Amazon. And again, I have a link in the description down below where you can find some of my favorite Amazon dresses, including this one in all the different colorways. But for this dress, we ended up with 1,368 stones. Let me pull that girl a little bit closer. There we go, we wanna see her good. Okay, so for this dress, 
1,368 stones. So that is nine and a half gross. That's a lot of stones. And you, it doesn't even look like that many stones. It's not like covered solid, but it is 1,368, nine gross. Okay, so we have five gross, okay, of the little 20SS crystal colored stones. So five gross of these little crystal colored ones. We have three gross of the black crystals, these ones that you see shimmering when she moves. Okay, three gross of that in the jet color. We have one gross of 34SS, that's the medium size. Uh, it's pretty big, um, but it's not the largest we have on this dress. So we have one gross of those. And then we have half a gross of the 40 SS. So that's the biggest ones. That's these big whoppers right here around the neckline, okay? So all that adds up to nine and a half gross. Now at the beginning of this, I wasn't sure how many stones I was gonna put on it. I, I purchased a few just so I could play around and see what looked nice. But at the beginning of this, like I told you, a lot of people will charge $50 per gross. So this would cost you $475 of labor for someone to put these on. So this is just to encourage you to learn how to do this, get creative, and you can create a gorgeous masterpiece like this for yourself. The next thing to do is take this dress to the competition this weekend and see what my student thinks. Okay, so I'm up here at Tahoe at our District 14 Championships. My student, Julia, is gonna be wearing this dress tomorrow, but she's here for today's competition. I see her walking up, so I'm gonna take this chance to show her. Julia, come over here. I've got the dress done for you. Wow, it's beautiful, thank you. It's got three different sizes of stones and then the black in the center that'll kind of shimmer as you move. I love it. Oh, good. We got the back with the little keyhole neckline. That's I think it's gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you like it. Yay. All right, skaters, thank you so much for watching this one. If you liked it, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments in that section down below. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.